and welcome to Let the Healing Take Hold. This is a five-part audio series designed to provide a little insight into how to start the healing process by learning more about yourself and your needs. I will also be sharing things about myself, my struggles, and how I am managing or have managed them. While you're here, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe because we would love to have you. If you haven't already listened to the intro, please be sure to check it out. Now let's get started. Part one, who? Who are you? You know who you are called, your name. In most cases, you know who you are from the perspective of lineage. Your parents, your grandparents, your siblings, you know that who you were at 10, 15, or even 20 years old is not the same person you are today. So what makes you, you? Quite often, if you ask someone that question, the response is standard. I'm a mother, a father, daughter, wife, sister, brother, so on and so forth. Those are roles you play, not who you are. I have long believed that a person is multifaceted. Human life and existence are not easily explained in a nutshell. How we think from one person to the next can depend on how we were raised, where we were raised, by whom we were raised, and even during the time period in which we were raised. It took some time for me to know who I am, to learn who I am, to accept who I am, and also to love who I am. Years ago, I would have been in that group of people who would have answered my role instead of correctly defining who I am. So who am I, you ask? I'm a woman who appreciates her value and who refuses to accept disrespect. I love with my whole heart and best intentions. I am a unique human with unique way of thinking and conditioned to strive to do the best and be the best version of myself. It's nice to meet you. Who are you? At what point do you know who you are? I realized that I knew exactly who I was when I felt comfortable saying no. Saying no to anything that I absolutely did not want to do. And I didn't feel guilty about it. Saying no because what I was being asked to do, be, or say contributed to my own undoing. Saying no because it meant that I would have to sacrifice my own happiness but in exchange for someone else being happy when there clearly was a compromise. Saying no because there would be long-term consequences for both me and the person involved. Saying no simply because it would make me unhappy and I'm tired of being unhappy when happiness is within reach. Once the you of you is clearly defined, then there is so much freedom in expectation. What you expect from yourself and what you expect from others. The rules of expectation start to become more defined and pronounced. They almost feel like they take on a life of their own. Your thinking becomes clearer because you start to feel like you can and will move in a particular direction. Your decisions take less time because you mentally, emotionally, and respectively start to prioritize your needs. Boundaries start to become a necessity and a reality in all areas of your life. So let's say that today is the day and you're there. You know exactly who you are. The next question to ask yourself is, who do you want to be? If you answer that you are who you aspire to be, then good for you. However, if you don't have an answer, there's work to be done. If you can answer and are doing the work again, that's great for you. 
Self-discovery can often be uncomfortable because you must begin peeling back the layers of your past. We have to acknowledge things that we became comfortable ignoring or pretending like we didn't know anything about. Sometimes some things have to be broken down to build something better. Breaking down the walls, barriers, and misperceptions will prove beneficial to us in the long run. It may take time to move past the pain, confusion, and resentment, but just know that you will. The key is not rushing the healing process, accepting that your healing process may not resemble someone else's, and it shouldn't. The takeaway here is making sure that you can identify, recognize, accept, defend, and encourage the person you are or who you want to be. Thank you for listening. Part one, let the healing take hold. Who? Who are you? If you're not already a member of the Fetch fam, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and download that app, scan my QR code, and get to scanning those receipts. You might as well take advantage of it. You're already spending the money. The receipts translates into points, the points translates into cash, and you can redeem that cash via store card or cash card, or you can donate to charity. Well, all right, we're going to go ahead and get out of here, but you know we don't do so without saying, love yourself, love somebody else, and until next time, y'all take care. Bye.